Hey guys, Kai here with TransformerGame.net, and today we are we have a special um, spoiler for you guys from the Alpha Triumph Protocols Wave One set. Um, basically, it is a set of eleven stratagems for characters from Wave One that we are looking to bring in up to the power level that um, was introduced to characters from the Titan Masters Attack um, set. Based, we can't really uh, make it to where they were as busted or fantastic as Titan Masters themselves, but we wanted to at least bring them up to a more standard level to where if you were to play them in a tournament, you wouldn't feel uh, too terrible or something. So uh, that is the idea behind why for this set specifically. And um, the character that we are we have the strategy of spoiler for you guys is, as you may tell from the thumbnail, uh, Bumblebee Legendary Warrior. And for everyone who's just who just wants to see the spoiler and nothing else, this is the spoiler right here. So we have Rally. It is a it is a one star stratagem. Uh, it gives plus one attack, plus one HP, and plus one defense when your when your Bumblebee Legendary Warrior is tapped and takes attack damage. Uh, repair three from him and untap him, uh, and then you flip this, and it will be to this mode or to this side of the stratagem, so he still gets the uh, stat buffs, but he just won't get the ability again. So it's basically a one-time use. And uh, for those who just who basically just wanted to see the spoiler, I hope you enjoyed the spoiler. And uh, I do want to give some shoutouts before you potentially leave, even though you probably already left. Um, so shout out to Nate Peterson for letting us use his template. We had been developing a template of our own and we saw that Nate's was just way further ahead and closer to release than ours was so we just ended up swapping over to his and big shout outs to him for the work that he put in into this because you yourself can also use his uh, MSE uh, template and make your own cards with it but also it just provides a nice finish for us so that's one less aspect that we have to worry about in terms of the uh, cards themselves so we could just focus more effort into uh, making it more competitively balanced and or powerful, not a like power group, basically. Uh, so shout out to him for that. And also, uh, tune in on Thursday, September 17th. Uh, we will be doing, uh, there will be a group of us on the, uh, I don't particularly know what uh, channel it's going to be on. It'll probably be on the Vector Sigma YouTube channel or Twitch or whatnot. We'll, there'll be a link in the Facebook that'll give you more details about it, but um uh you'll it will basically holding a live q a session for you to basically come in ask us questions uh we'll try and answer as many as we can or whatnot and uh we may have potential teasers of the next set or um not teasers as in like spoilers or anything don't don't this is not that crazy but uh teasers of what we are looking for doing with the next set or something like that so uh tune in for that and um I'm, i if you hadn't, haven't left yet, then I hope you did enjoy the video and or the spoiler, so uh, take care. But if you're still here, uh, because you saw that there's actually more than uh, a few minutes of content for this video, uh, we're actually going to talk about previous iterations about of this stratagem and what we, uh, some of the design process that we went to to get it to this current iteration. So uh, the first, the very first rough draft that we have of this uh, stratagem is this one right here, not without a fight, it is on stars. It is for it's, it still gives plus one attack and plus one health or plus one defense, excuse me. And Autobots on your team get plus one or plus two HP. And when you flip Bumblebee Legendary Warrior to bot mode, you may put two damage on him and flip him to alt mode. So uh, this was the very first rough draft. We knew that that with Bumblebee and or uh, Jetfire, we didn't want those two characters to just be slotted with a very certain character who shall um, not be named. But uh, we didn't want them to just, we knew we were making them more powerful and we just didn't want them to just slot in with the that said character because the original stratagem did, uh, our goal was to make uh, Zero Star stratagems uh, more normal, but as you may notice from some of the spoilers and whatnot, that ended up not being true for most of them. Most of them didn't actually make it through the design process, but uh, with this character specifically, we knew we didn't want him being paired with that character, who shall not be named. And so we decided to make the stratagem cost a star. So in doing that, we decided to give him 
uh, stats, plus one attack, plus one HP, because he only has one defense in both modes. Uh, despite getting plus two defense in this mode, uh, that just rarely happens, but um, yeah, so uh, this was also a very, very, very first rough draft. It did not have any testing, no uh, proofreading or anything. It was just a rough draft, basically getting the idea of what we wanted this character to do. And uh, one of the things that was brought up pretty quickly was the fact that it could get abused with something like uh, kinetic Intensifier Whip. So if you were going second, you would just play the Kinetic Intensifier Whip. You would flip B, you would trigger that stratagem, put two damage on B, and then flip into alt mode. And then all of a sudden you're swinging for four attack, uh, bolt two, in, or bolt four, into any character that you wanted. And we didn't... <laughs> that was a potential concern, so we just... Um, but it wasn't just that. It was also the two, plus two HP to all Autobots. So if you played him with uh, patrols, then uh, like rescue patrol or power or off-road patrol, uh, you would basically just buff their HP and that potentially just got really out of hand, especially for uh, one star. So we just quickly nerfed it to this current iteration, which is uh, Autobots get plus one HP. And then when you flip them, when you would flip into alt mode uh, using the, that abil the stratagem ability, you would get, to, you would do three damage to him instead. And then uh, it stayed around that level for a good bit of a while. But intent then we had a uh, playtesting event. Basically, it was like a little tournament that we ran so that people could try out the some of the new stratagems and play in the tournament. It was all streamed, and there were, uh, there are multiple streams of it. You can go back and watch. And uh, it turns out that one of the things that we ended up worrying about, which was the flip ability... Uh, being too, uh, he him being too flip floppy and just abusing that just ended up just being largely vanilla text. It was largely the HP that ended up mattering more than anything. So, um, and also it just didn't feel particularly interesting to just constantly flip flop them if you didn't have the kinetic intensifier whip. So we ended up scrapping that version and the version we w ended up with this version, which is Rally. Uh, when your Bumblebee Legendary Warrior defends while tapped, you may untap him and repair two damage from him, and if you do, flip this. So, that's the first iteration of uh, what is the current stratagem now. And we we ended up liking this stratagem quite a bit, but it's still... I think there were discussions of it being uh, zero stars. I think um, the version that I found uh, was one star, I think, but uh, this version... I, th I think there were talks that it was going to be zero stars, and I think it, we ended up just opposing it and just bumping up the power level to one stars. And uh, that is this version, the current iteration now, which is plus one health and plus one to the healing as well. So um, this overall is basically the intent of this stratagem was so that you, you, you wasn't we didn't want to lock this into a car's archetype. Basically, so you. If you had a love of star characters, you could play any other characters, and you would basically just have B either just take point and just swing, use the stratagem and then untap, and then repair three and then swing again into whoever you wanted while you were setting up your other guys, or you could um, play it to where an interesting method to where you play him as your main character because when he goes in this mode and he's the last character, he actually has. 8 attack and 4 defense with the 16 health and then if you didn't use this yet you would be able to just pop it when he's defending and heal 3 and that is a monster of stats let me tell you so it was just a lot of fun to just set up scenarios and just make him an ebb and flow character in a sense to where you didn't the cards deck didn't need to rely on drawing these cards specifically but also to where uh, you could put him in other decks and just have that fantastic power level of untapping or having a boss monster uh, in and of itself. So that is the spoiler and or design discussion help for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you stuck around this long, uh, make sure you check out the Thursday stream uh, where we're doing the live Q&A. Uh, there'll be a link somewhere that you can find on Thursday for it so it'll probably be in the evening uh 7 or 8 p.m eastern time something like that but uh yeah i uh, hope you guys enjoyed
and uh, I'll see you guys later.